It's, again, another night where we introduce, uh, both of us turn the lights on right now. Taylor Pro. Hello, my name is Taylor Pro. I still don't have a stool. Taylor? You haven't had a stool in so, forever. And I've been specifically requesting a stool. I'm not continuing until I get a stool. Can we have a stool from somewhere? Can we yes, actually? sir. Oh, Aw, Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Taylor Pro. And this is another, which, am I in the, and this is another, where whistle whiskey review? Today is a special day. Today we're drinking Pendleton, Pendleton, Pendleton. Anybody can help me with this? Pendleton, Pendleton. Is it Pendleton? Pendleton, nineteen ten. Pendleton. 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 Finlinton, 1910, Canadian rye whiskey. You said Finlinton. What? Penlinton, 1910, Canadian rye whiskey. Tis the season, as they say, for Canadian whiskey. This has been gifted graciously by our own Digley? Diggle? Chicken Diggley? McDiggies? Chick Chicken McDiggies? Chicken McDiggies! We're excited to try it. It has a tab that's not opening. Oh my god. Why don't you take this off before the show? I don't know. I keep asking them. Oh god. Knife? Wait, turn around. Turn around and like hold the knife in the background. You could look crazy. No, come out this way. <laughs> Here. God. So, we got McDiggies. <laughs> okay. If I had to rate this cork, <laughs> I'd rate it like 10 out of 12 spoons stirring a cup of coffee in a ceramic mug. <laughs> Penleton 1910. Remember the first steps? Smell it. No. We're gonna look at it. Look at it. Do you see it? Does it look good? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. All right now that we've all gotten this, look. It's like a dark amber. So, now for the most important step. S smell it. Smell it. See? I like the new PA. So we're gonna swirl it around, we're gonna give it a good smell. And when we do it, we're gonna open our mouth. We're gonna do a good guppy. Guppy. That's careful. That's my shot. Careful. Wait. Okay. Wait. Careful. Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is a tricky one. No, it's okay. It smells real sweet, but it also like sharply alcoholic. I hate to go back to the marker thing, but you remember those flavor markers where like brown smelled like chocolate or something? It's like when the when it's old, so the chocolate's going away. So it smells sweet, but it's also got real like sharp, almost like poison. Grown up poison. Well, first things first, we're gonna get a good taste. Or are we? We're not gonna get a good taste. You fall for that every time. <laughs> it's so stupid. You gotta, the first one, you just gotta drink it down. You gotta coat it, you gotta drink it down. Because this is a shock. And then the next one, you can actually taste it. That is so much different than I expected. What's it taste like? It smells like, like when you drink it, it'd be like, bah! you know? <laughs> it'd come after your cheekbones. But there's like no alcohol at all in the taste. No, it's just like maple -y. Maybe it's why it's Canadian. Do Canadians put, this is an honest question, do Canadians put uh, maple syrup in their liquor? Any Canadians at home, comment below. They can comment. Is there any maple syrup in your whiskey? You guys just taste like old maple syrup. I don't know, it's interesting. But maybe that's good, that it's interesting because it's a good segue. You've been talking about how I do bad segues, but no, look at that, that's a pretty good segue, huh? We're gonna start doing the fun facts. The good facts, the good facts. The, uh, the fact of the matter. True facts stories. Whiskey true fact events. True, true, true fact events. True fact events for the whiskey. Wait, dude, wait. True fact events for the whiskey. Is this good? A little bit to your right. Oh, wait, nice. Now say, 
But Cobra Commander. Fuck. What? So this one is 80 proof. Which is like considerably less proofs than the proof than the proof we've been normally seeing, you know? It's made by oh shit. That might be Hood River Distillers? It's made by some distillers in Canada. It's aged 12 years, which gives it that nice dark color. Oh, it's Hood River. It's made by Hood River Distillers. Oh, nice, it's on which the bottle. Is what I said, yeah, it's on the bottle. It's a product of Canada, even though Hood River is in Oregon. But it's a hundred percent rye. And you'll notice. It can only be 100% rye because it's Canadian. Bourbon whiskey's gotta be mostly corn. Whoa, what is this guy? Not be not thick. Mike what is down. it? Mine's a little different. Mike! But. What are you doing? I'm getting a good close up shot. Okay, it's maybe. You'll learn the rules with it, man. Yeah, you'll learn the rules. You'll learn the rules, newbie. Got your back. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I've talked a lot of shit on rye whiskey over the years. Like most rye whiskey kind of sucks, but I'm pretty sure it's just the rye heavy bourbons. Like that's, this is really good. Like it doesn't, Jesus Christ. So 80% rye, no 100% rye, 80% proof. No, 80 proof. As much as that one. It's as much as that one. Which one are you pointing at, Bibb and Tucker? The 12 year one. Not the one with the big seven on it, the one with the 12 on it. Right. As much as that one. Stop. Wait. Which is. Wait. Wait, what was I wait. saying? Wait. What's my line? This one was aged for 12 years. Just like that. It's time to do the most important part. Do it good. We're gonna do it good. Yep. We're gonna do it good by doing it twice. By doing it twice. And today, what should we compare it with? Apples. We're not gonna take this seriously. Maker's Mark. We're gonna try it with Maker's Mark. All right, so first things first, we're gonna compare the colors. Is it just me or these are like the exact same colors? <laughs> All right, so we're not gonna learn anything from that. This stupid rug's trying to trip me. Okay, right, smelling these two again, it just reinforces how much maple syrup this smells like. Cause this doesn't at all. Somebody call Charlie Dickstone because this is definitely the tale of two whiskeys. I'm used to like drinking one whiskey and then drinking another whiskey and being like, this other whiskey is really bad. But like these are two different to compare if I'm being honest with you. Apples like, to oranges, would you say? What? Apples to oranges, would you say? I don't Because they're too different to compare. Those are both fruit. Yeah, but you can't compare apples to oranges. Why not? They're both fruit. If they taste different. You can't be like... This orange is a better apple than this apple. I mean, yeah, but like... That's why it's apples to apples. This right. Maker's Mark's a better Maker's Mark than that Pendle in 910. But that's comparing apples to orange. Yeah, but what good does that do? That you literally just agree with me what? before but I pointed out that you're agreeing with me. I don't You're saying you're saying like, like, contrary. None of it makes any you're sense. You're a contrary. You're being a contrary. I don't know how to say that they're different. This needs bitters. Would it ruin the show if I put bitters in this? Yeah. Can we like, like, let's freestyle yeah. a little bit. Wanna freestyle? Yeah. Wanna freestyle? Yeah. We weren't already right. freestyling? So this is, will you shut up? What? Wait, is this looking at me? No, don't touch that. Don't, don't, touch, don't sure, touch that, it's brand new. I wanna make sure it looks at me. It's time for, wait. God damn it. This whole show is a mess. It's time for, I can't see you. This is the Tear Pro Way of Whistle with some good bar tricks show segment. All right, so. It is blended with maple syrup. Am I good or am I good? There's a reason why people watch this show. We got this delicious maple syrup infused whiskey. We're gonna stick some Ang Angost Angostura aromatic bitters in it. You can take your little glass, and you can take your bitters, and you can spill a little bitters into it. Now I'm gonna shake it. You know what that means, bitters. And you shake it around. You wanna get all the bitters in it? And that changes the smell. It's my bad bad idea. Alright, I'm not sure if I rec if I if I'm comfortable recommending that the to people at home, but like I'm not gonna lie, that's not that's not very bad. It kinda has a nice kick. And you know what else had a nice kick? The pen the, the Pendleton Roundup. It's funny you bring that up, the Pendleton Roundup, because this one 
It's called 1910. You know why? You know why it's called 1910? Why? Because that is the first year of the Pendleton Roundup. And the Pendleton Roundup is a major rodeo in Pendleton, Oregon, which happens to this day. Would anybody else like to try this? Can I get this close? Is this okay? Yep. Okay. We've all tried this crazy thing. We're gonna do, do I have to do a thing? So What now, are you gonna rate it? Now it's time to rate it. So Corey. I'm sorry, do you have a problem? I'm sorry. No, it's, no. I'm sorry. You can get out. I'm gonna do my job. You're just gonna you're just gonna sit back and snark. You know what you know what we call snarkers around here? We call them Roscoe's because they're doing it bad. You're out of control. I'm sorry, I wish I could have so we're gonna start with the Maker's Mark. All right, so, no, ready time. Ba -da -ba 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 Do it again. Ba -da -ba 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 oh no, I f***ed it up. F it. One more time. Ba -da -ba 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 yeah. All right, so we're gonna start with the Maker's Mark, which is what we compared to. This is the, you know, it's the, it's the bourbon whiskey. It's a fine, it, you know, it's a fine whiskey. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for whiskey. Try to keep in mind what I give the other ones. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it an eight. Bam, and then an eight's gonna go. I'm gonna give it an eight. Wait. At 12. Wait. At 12, quarts. Well, now we've got the Pendleton 1910. The balance is pretty good. I, it's, it's just sweet. It's too, it might be too sweet for me. I don't know if I can do it as sweet. Give, given that they're like apples to oranges, you know, it's like it's hard to, it's hard to compare the two. I think if I have to judge the Peloton, I'm also gonna give it an eight at 12 quarts. This would be good in like, like some, some ginger stuff or on ice. I'm gonna make a Manhattan out of it, see how that is. But it's just very sweet. And with that, I dub you whiskey. Is that how we end these? That's a whiskey what? reviewed. It's a whiskey review? It's a whiskey? That, I think. A review. That was a whiskey review. Duh. It's like, a, it's, like it's past yeah, tense. Yeah. Past tense, you whiskey. That was a whiskey review, duh. Yeah. And it's time for. <laughs> you look like, like a. Like you. Just like you. you look like a Russian spy who doesn't understand what other places dress like. <laughs> and they're like, ah! Ah! <laughs> I can't get it. You... <laughs> what the hell? I didn't fart. That was worthwhile. So. <laughs> 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 <laughs>